History Chapter 1 Ancient and Medieval Civilization A. Greek Civilization Greek Civilization is one of the most ancient civilizations in the world. It has greatly contributed to the development of European culture. Origin of Arts, Sports, Science, Philosophy and Political Organization can be traced to the ancient Greek traditions. Greek civilization began to develop around 1500 BC. The name Greece comes from the island Gratia. Greece was also known as Hellas. The people are known as Greeks. Their culture was Greek culture. The typical character of Greek civilization is due to the geographical conditions prevailing there. The north is bordered by mountain ranges while the remaining three sides of Greece are enclosed by the sea. The Greeks, therefore, became good navigators. The broken mountains, ranges in north, and hundreds of small islands made it possible to have a strong central rule. Cultural Life The language or script is a sign of man's progress. Literature, art, sports, architecture and philosophy are the main characteristics of Greek culture. The tradition of writing is supposed to be the oldest one in Greece. The great poet Homer, who lived during 10th century BC, is regarded as one of the great poets of the world. His epics, Iliad and Odyssey, introduced him as a great writer of the world. Great lyricists like Pinder flourished in Greece. The Greek loved plays. Tragedy as a form of literature was popularized by them. The plays of Sophocles are famous even today. Greek contribution to historiography is also notable. Option Greek contribution to historiography is also notable. Herodotus, 5th century BC, has written comprehensive and scientific history. So, he is called as father of history. The great historian Thucydides lived there after Herodotus. He depicted the life of people in Athens comprehensively. He advocated the importance of naval power. The Greeks laid the foundation of empirical philosophy. It means the thought of early people. Logic and rationalism were the two important elements of Greek philosophy. Socrates, Plato. Option, Plato, Aristotle have greatly contributed to the treasure of philosophy. In the field of science too, the Greek contribution is very significant. They wrote theories in many subjects. Pythagoras and Euclid contributed to geometry, Archimedes to physics, Ptolemy to astronomy, and Hippocrates to medicine. Philosophy and scientific temper brought realism in the outlook on life. Art and Architecture Realistic depiction of nature marks the Greek art. The temples clearly illustrate the artistic outlook and preference for architectural grandiosity showed in the temples constructed by them. Artistically built pillars shows their skillful work. The Greeks have extensively used marbles in their sculptures. The harmony of proportion, the portrayal of minute details, of human physiology and human feelings are the striking features of Greek sculptures. The origin of Greek architecture and sculpture can generally be traced to their mythological stories. Sports In the field of sports, Greek contribution is remarkable one. 
sports and games are part and parcel of their life. Every four year, sportsmen from all Greek city states used to assemble at a place called Olympia. There used to be many sports competitions. No wars were allowed to be fought during the Olympic Games. These games were considered to be a symbol of goodwill, friendship and peace. The modern Olympic Games have originated from this ancient Greek tradition of sports. Social Life In spite of the geographical divisions, all the small islands of Greece shared some common features in respect of their social organization, religious ideas and general lifestyle. Thus, the culture they developed collectively can be termed as Greek culture. The Greek society consisted of two major classes. First, Greek citizens. Second, slaves and prisoners of war. All privileges and rights in the matters political, economic, cultural and religious were confined to the citizens alone. The slaves and war prisoners were deprived of them. The Greeks had developed patriarchal family system. Women had equal share along with men in the right to education and inheritance of property. But they were denied political rights. Religious Beliefs Zeus was the supreme god of Greeks. Hera, Apollo Athena, Venus, Mercury were worshipped. Besides these, every city-state had its own god. Every god had been worshipped according to their geographical condition and social life. Animal sacrifice was in vogue. Worship was generally presided over by female priests. It was believed that gods gave their holy messages to the people through female priests. These messages thus revealed to the public was known as oracle. The oracles of Delphi are well known. The Greeks believed in life after death and also believed in heaven and hell. The modern romantic English poet P.B. Shelley asserted, We are all Greeks. Our laws, literature and art are rooted in Greece. From the words of P.B. Shelley, the idea of great civilization of Greece and impact of power over the world can be understood. The ancient Greek culture was one of the most advanced cultures. Greek culture gave the gift of direct democracy to the world. Option Greek culture gave the gift of direct democracy to the world. Science and philosophy were highly contributed by them. Their contribution to Olympic Games is remarkable. Lack of strong central rule made Greece fall into oblivion. But after the medieval period, Greek civilization gave a new light to Europe. The study of Greek philosophy and scientific attitude led to the European Renaissance. The European Renaissance, in its turn, had profoundly changed today's world culture. Economic Life Mediterranean climate and the other geographical factors played an important role in shaping the economic life of the Greeks. Production of a variety of fruits in Greek orchids constituted a major source of income. They produced quality wines from fruits and olive oil, which were the main commodities of the export. Exporting naturally available marble was also a major business. Availability of timber on a large scale coupled with the vicinity of sea had encouraged development of shipbuilding industry. The Greeks living in the hilly regions reared flocks of sheep. Because of limited agricultural land weaving, woolen cloth was an important industry. Woolen and cotton textile manufacturing was done by women. 
exporting the naturally available marble was also a major business. Trade and industry had brought prosperity to the Greek city-states. This further encouraged Greeks' economic prosperity. Political system Hundreds of small islands, limited agricultural lands, divided Greek society into small groups. Gradually, it developed into city-states. Greek civilization started to develop in these city-states. Generally, the political organization in the city-states was modeled on democratic principles. There was a monarch too who was elected by the people. The concept of democracy was a great gift to the world. In ancient Greece, Athens was famous for all its arts, philosophy and political ideas. We find traces of modern democracy in the political organization of Athens. The Athenian called the chief administrator Archon, who was elected by the people. With increasing administrative work, the number of Archons too increased and an administrative council of nine members came to be formed. All important policy decisions were taken in general assembly which was open to all Athenians. This system is known as direct democracy. Option This system is known as direct democracy. Athens was known as a peace-loving and cultural city-state. Thucydides explained the social life very clearly. In the period of great administrator, Pericles and Peninsula had a great respect. Athens' all-round progress had become an ideal example for other city-state and Athens came to be known as School of Hellas in Greek. Sparta, its neighbor, was known as a militaristic and expansionist city-state. Spartan government was vested in a council of advisors. Military training, love for discipline, self-reliance and training for hard life were the special features of the Spartan public life. Other Greek city-states also practiced democracy in one or the other form. Later, however, the Greek city-states were weakened by constant mutual wars. In 338 BC, King Philip of Macedonia invaded these city-states and annexed them. Do you know this? In ancient times, Olympic Games started at Olympia before 800 BC. The sports were conducted in a place which was enclosed with forest. There the temple of Zeus was constructed. In the 12.19 meter tall temple, statue of Zeus pearls and diamond was studded. Every four year, in between summer, the Olympic Games were held in honor of Zeus. Olympic Games included athletics, javelin throw, discus throw and wrestling exercises. The modern Olympic Games started in 1896 at Athens in Greece. The motto of Olympic Game is Faster, Higher, Stronger means take part in completely. The flag of Olympic is white colored and in the middle of the flag there are five circles intertwined with one another. Option The flag of Olympic is white colored and in the middle of the flag there are five circles intertwined with one another. This is the symbol of Olympics. In every game or sports first, second and third prizes are conferred respectively with gold, silver and bronze. B. India First, Harappan Civilization Prehistoric period. Lakhs of years ago, 
there was genesis of man on the earth. The human history is primarily divided into two stages, prehistoric and historic stage. The prehistoric stage is longer than the historic stage. The prehistoric stage is subdivided into Paleolithic Age, Old Stone Age. Option Paleolithic Age, that is, Old Stone Age, Mesolithic Age, that is, Middle Stone Age, and Neolithic Age, that is, New Stone Age. In the beginning, man was unknown to the skill of writing. However, the information of this age can be derived from material sources of that age. In short, the period in which the skill of writing was unknown and historical events were not available in written form is called as prehistoric period. Charles Darwin put forth the theory of evolution of life. According to Darwin, the early man lived on the earth some two million years ago. He lived in caves. This early man evolved into a new Homo erectus before some 7.5 lakhs years ago, who could stand in erect poster. Then there was evolution of man into a thinking man, that is, Homo sapien. Man is an inventor of technology. The man of Paleolithic age, that is, Old Stone Age used the tools made up of stones. Hand axe is the first stone tool made by man. It was used for digging out roots and cutting chunks of meat. The man of Mesolithic, that is, Middle Stone Age, preferred to live in community groups. The institution of family came up for the purpose of reproduction and taking care of progeny. Mesolithic people developed the art of painting. Many such paintings are found in the caves of Bhimbetka, Madhya Pradesh. The painting of Rhinoceros Hunt in the Adamgra caves indicate the assimilation of large number of people for hunting of bigger animals. Man started cattle breeding in Neolithic age. He began living in the huts made up of timber and grass. The invention of wheel accelerated the human life. In addition to cattle breeding and farming, man began to design the woolen and cotton clothes. He devised new tools and pots. The art of carpentry, pottery and metallurgy developed. The development in the agriculture and industry led to the growth in trade. In the wake of these developments came economic stability and prosperity. The social and economic transactions gave rise to language as a means of communication. Nearly 10,000 years ago, man discovered the metals. He designed the tools and implements of metals. Many cultures that used both stone and copper to design tools are known as the cultures of Chalcolithic Age, Stone Copper Age. The use of metals like copper, bronze and iron made human life more dynamic. Harappan Civilization Indian civilization is one of the ancient civilizations of the world. It was in 1920 AD when the work of laying the Lahore Multan railway line was in progress. A few bricks of ancient origin were found. The archaeological department started excavation work under the guidance of Sir John Marshall and an ancient civilization was discovered. As Harappa was the first site where the remains of this ancient civilization were found, it is known as Harappan civilization. This civilization was situated by the river Indus. So, it is called as Indus River Civilization. Dr. Dayaram Sahami carried out some excavation work in Harappa of Punjab province and Mr. Rakhal Das Banerjee 
did some work at the mountain of the dead of Mohenjo-daro. These excavations threw light on the glorious ancient cultures. Both these places are now in Pakistan. The identical seals were found at Harappa and Mohenjo-daro. The similar remains of civilization were found in Kalibangan, Dholvira, Damabad, Surkot Dara Lothal, etc. in Western India. About 1400 such sites of Harappan civilization were found in India. There was similarity between these archaeological finds. It includes their town planning, drainage system, pottery, seals, ornaments, etc. Since the city or the town was at the center of all Harappan civilization, it is also called as urban civilization. On the basis of F. W. Libby's carbon-14 scientific method, the Harappan civilization period dates back to 2700 BC to 1500 BC. Social and Cultural Life the remains of excavation at Harappan throw light on the then social structure, costume, hairstyle, cosmetics, ornaments, entertainment of the Harappan people. All those things indicate the progress in social and cultural life of the Harappan people. Social structure A family was a primary unit in Harappan society. The society was made of administrators, traders and commons. As this civilization was evolved alongside the banks of fertile rivers, farming became the backbone of the social life. Clothing and hairstyle. One can stress on the knowledge of clothing of Harappan culture. The imprints of clothes that appear on pottery, the clothes on the statues, the needles found at the excavation sites prove the knowledge about clothing. Similarly, the statues reveal different hairstyles. The Harappan men trimmed their beard, parted their hair at center and women had various hairstyles. Costumes. A makeup box was discovered at the excavation site of Harappa. It included the bronze mirror, ivory combs, hooks, hairpins, lipsticks, sticks to color eyebrows, etc. The Harappan people had the craze of ornaments, the necklace made of gold, bangles, waistband, rings, etc. were discovered in excavation. The dancing girl statue had the bangles in hand and necklace. All these are the signs of advanced culture. Means of entertainment The Harappan people entertained themselves with the games like dice. They took pleasure in dancing, singing, hunting, animal fighting, etc. They manufactured neat and tidy toys for children. The craftsmen also manufactured skillful toys like mobile ox, bullock carts, bird-shaped whistles, rattles, etc. Religious Beliefs The objects discovered at excavation sites display the religious beliefs of Harappan people. These objects were seals, statues, fire tanks, funerary customs, etc. As farming was the prime business for livelihood, earth was supposed as mother goddess. They worshipped natural forces like sun, water, fire, trees, etc. The fire tank discovered at Kali Bangan reflects the gratitude towards fire. In addition to natural forces, they worshipped Pashupati, Cobra, Bulls, etc. The Harappan people were the idol worshippers. However, there were no temples in their culture. 
there were public baths in Harappan culture. They gave importance for bathing and cleanliness which further became an inseparable part of Indian culture. The people used to bury dead bodies ritually. They believed in life after death. Therefore, they used to put ornaments and urns with the dead bodies before buried. Points to remember First, Sir John Marshall, the head of the archaeological department during British rule. Second, Dr. Dayaram Sahani, the chief exponent of excavation at Harappa. Third, Rakhal Das Banerjee, work of excavation at Mohenjadaro. Fourth, F. W. Libby, inventor of carbon-14 method, that is, identification of period from human bones. Above events reveal that Harappan culture was a well-advanced urban civilization in the world. The researchers could not reveal the mysterious ancient script printed on the seals discovered during excavation. If that happens, it will be possible to obtain the detailed information about Harappan culture. According to historians and archaeologists, the Harappan civilization might have been destroyed in course of time due to deluges, earthquakes or the attacks from outside enemies. Activity Activity Collect more information about Harappan culture under the guidance of your teacher and reference books. Try to visit such excavated places or museum where such ancient remains are preserved. Friends, this activity is not mandatory but an optional one. The main aim is to make you curious and wise. Town Planning The Harappan culture was extremely advanced in respect of town planning and architecture. Their houses, protective walls, drainage system bathrooms, granaries, Docks show the progress in architecture of the period. Houses The Harappan town was divided into two parts, administrative and residential. The residential part of the town was normally divided into various wards and blocks. Each ward consisted of 20 to 30 houses. The houses were built of baked bricks. Every house was spacious and had courtyard and bathroom attached to it. Some wells had been discovered in the backyard of their houses. Protective walls Each city or town had a protective wall around it. The protective walls were wide and they were built in baked bricks. Huge castles were constructed to their western sides in order to protect the towns from external attacks. This shows the awareness of Harappan culture for self-protection. The Great Bathroom The remains of the Great Bathrooms were found at Mohenjadaro. The Great Bath measured 12 meter long, 7 meter broad and 2.5 meter deep. The outer walls of the bath had the width of 7 to 8 feet and there was also a provision of separate changing room. There was also a provision of disposal of used water and bringing in clean water in the bathrooms. This implies that Harappans were well aware of sanitation. Drainage system For the disposal of the drainage and rainwater out of the town there were a meter deep underground drains which were built in stones and baked bricks. This drainage system was a unique feature of Harappan culture that was rarely found in contemporary cultures. The remains of a large dock have been discovered in the excavation at Lothal. It has a length of 270 meters and the width of 37 meters. The dock found at Lothal proves that the Harappan people had the knowledge of shipbuilding.
trade and sea routes. The seal discovered at Lothal has the carving of ship. The granaries discovered at Lothal are clearly indicative of the advancements in agriculture and trade made by Harappan people. Roads The roads in Harappan towns were parallel and connected to each other. The roads were wide and intersected the main roads at right angles. The fossils of wood discovered along the roads indicates that there might be lamp post facility on the road. Second, Vedic culture. During the last phase of Indus civilization, the speakers of Indus, Aryan language arrived in India in tribes from northwest of India. These tribals set the foundation of Vedic culture. Rugveda is regarded as the first phase of Vedic period. This phase is in between 1500 BC to 1000 BC. The second phase is later Vedic period between 1000 BC to 600 BC. The people who enriched the Vedic culture are known as the Aryans. The Vedic culture is ancient and it has variety. This rich literature reveals the life of the Aryans. Vedic culture Vedic culture is very rich. The word Vedic is derived from the word Vid, means knowledge or wisdom. There is reference of nature gods, prayers to please them. These prayers and psalms contain the information about the Aryan religion, moral values, ethics, philosophy of life, political life, expansion of power, social structure, etc. The Vedic culture is revealed not only in Rugveda, Yajurveda, Samaveda and Atharvaveda but also through Brahmanas, Aranyakas, Upanishadas also. Rugveda It is the first archaic scripture of the Aryans. It is the Veda of praise. Rugveda contains the hymns praising the gods. There are ten books known as Mandalas and 1028 Suktas. Every stanza in Rukveda is also called as Rucha. Yajurveda The Yajurveda is the Veda of rituals. It contains the information about the mantra and its chanting during rituals. Samaveda The Samaveda is the Veda of melodies. It is about the singing of Rucha. Samaveda is regarded as the foundation of Indian classical music. Atharvaveda The Atharvaveda is a Veda of chants. In addition to the philosophy, there is description of medicinal plants, remedies on crisis, difficulties in life, etc. Vedas are supposed to be a divine creation. They are supposed to be written by divine will through the hands of sages. In short, the Aryan literature is a great contribution for the development of human culture. The social life in latter Vedic life witnessed a great change. Besides the three Varnas of Brahman, Kshatriya and Vaishya, the fourth class of vanquished people known as Shudras came into existence. This Varna system further degenerated into caste system. The function of Chaturvarna, that is, four classes. First, Brahman, to study and to teach Vedas and wisdom and perform rituals. Second, Kshatriya, acquisition of knowledge, administration, maintenance of law and order and protection of the kingdom. Third, Vaishya, farming, cattle breeding, trade business, etc. Fourth, Shudras, the non-Aryans assumed as Shudras were deprived of education. 
they had been allotted tasks in society for accomplishment of the four purushatas namely dharma artha kama and moksha the scheme of atharva that is stages of life was evolved brahmacharya shram pursue knowledge at ashram grihastha ashram getting married after completing the education and to earn wealth vana prastha ashrama retirement from family life after 50 years and proceed to achieve salvation through meditation sanyashram attainment of salvation through contemplation and surrender there was a little change in family system of the aryans in later vedic period the warlike conditions gave importance to value the boys to protect the race and property in the course of time the education of the women was disregarded however there were some exceptions like gargi maitreyi who were highly educated women third religious ideas vedic religion the early aryans were the worshippers of nature and natural forces in rigveda the universe has been divided into three forces those are earth space and orbit there were 11 deities in each group altogether 33 deities they are as follows first deities on the earth the earth fire brahaspati and som etc second deities in space indra rudra varun that is rain air that is marut option marut etc third deities in the orbit sun usha vishnu moon etc the chief deities of the aryans were the sun indra varun usha that is female god and rudra thus various natural forces were worshiped by the aryans the aryans never worshiped the idols they believed in rules of nature and its control over the universe the moral order of the nature was called as ruta ekam sat was the religious principle of the aryans it implies that the universe is nothing but a manifestation of the one god who is the creator of the universe the different ways of worshiping the deities finally led to the one god almighty this was the chief principle of vedic religion the aryans ideas of religion developed the religious harmony in the society Almighty God is the creator of the universe. The Aryans gave importance to ritual in order to please the natural forces and to have the blessings of the god. As the flames of fire go up in the sky and disappear, the fire became the god of oblation. The Aryans offered milk, butter, food grains to the fire in rituals. They believed that the offerings would bring happiness prosperity good health and protection from the enemies the rites and rituals got an upper hand in the later vedic period the colossus of the brahmans who performed the ritual was increased the traditions of sacrifice of animals began religious activities of rites and rituals increased there was a revolt against all this the caste system produced social inequality the people's morality and good conduct disappeared the great philosophers like charvak kapil advocated rationalism and set foundations of ideology of social philosophy aryans the cultural life The Aryans were using the cotton and woolen clothes. They designed embroidery on their clothes. 
the women had deep fascination of ornaments and cosmetics. They wore the jewelry made from gold, silver, ivory, necklace, garlands, etc. The men also wore jewelry. The necklace called Nishka was very popular. Both men and women were conscious about their hairstyle. They used to beautify themselves with scented cosmetics, powders, coal, mehndi, etc. The Aryans were interested in singing, dancing, playing games like dice, etc. Samaveda means study of music. The Veena, Mrudung, flute, a conch, and cymbals were the chief musical instruments of the Aryans. The Vedic Aryans participated in the sports like athletics. Hunting was treated as a game. The Aryan Settlements There are differences of opinions among the historians about the origin of the Aryans. An inscription discovered at Bogeskoi, Asia Minor in 1400 BC, has the reference of Rugveda and its gods, Indra, Mitra, Varun, etc. Therefore, Asia Minor is regarded as the origin of the Aryans. The early Vedic Aryans had settled in the valleys of Sindhu, Jalam, Chenap, Ravi, Bees, Sutlej, and Saraswati, defunct river, rivers in the northwest of Indian subcontinent. The Aryans called this fertile region as Sapta Sindhu, that is, the land of seven rivers. Later, the Aryans moved to the east towards the river Ganga and Yamuna. The Aryans called this region as Madhadesh, middle country. Aryans' social life The Aryan society was scattered in rural area. They lived in simple houses built of wood with thatched roofs. The diet of the Aryans included milk, curd, butter, fruits, vegetables and meat. The society fulfilled its needs by cooperating with each other. The head of the village was called as Gramini. The Aryan girls had the liberty to select their partners in spite of patriarchal families. The senior most male member was the head of the family. He was addressed as Grahapati. Women like Vishwavava, Goshla existed during Rigveda. The scholarly women were known as Brahmavadini. During Rigveda, the Varna system was flexible and it was based on the occupation of the people. Aryans rule Administration Initially, the Aryans lived in tribes. They left the tribal life as they settled themselves in the fertile valleys of Sapta Sindhu, Ganga, Yamuna with abundant water. The other supplementary means for cattle breeding and farming attracted them towards stability in life. At the beginning, the Aryans had to fight with the non-Aryans as well as other Aryan tribes for the livestock and acquisition of the land. The Aryan institution of family gave birth to monarchy. Many families came together to form a village. A wish was a group of many villages. Various wish formed the Jan, that is, the state. The chief of the state was called as Rajan or king. The people used to select a mighty and diplomatic person as their king. The king had to take an oath of his loyalty for the state. His first duty was to protect his people from the outside tribes. The unfaithful king was dethroned or killed. To control the monarchy, there were two institutions, Sabha and Samiti. These institutions became insignificant in latter Vedic period.
and the kingship became hereditary. Some of the ancient states were republic and some were monarchist. In the history of ancient India, the political ambitions arose from 16 Mahajanpad. That brought forward the powerful kingdoms of Maurya, Gupta and Harsha, etc. Aryans' Economical Life The Aryans were living in the fertile regions of Saptasindhu. In the beginning, cattle breeding was their main occupation. It was the base of their economical life. When the Aryans settled themselves in the valleys of Indus and Yamuna, agriculture became their main occupation. They cultivated wheat, rice, barley, sugarcane, mustard, cotton, etc. They started using coins, nishka, as a currency for exchange. The quantity of cows decided the economical status of the family. The farmers paid one-sixth of their income as a tax to the king. There was a drastic change in the economical life of the Aryans in latter Vedic period. The use of iron plough increased the agricultural income. The iron was used in large scale for chariots, bullock carts, ships, weapons, etc. The standard of living improved due to progress in agriculture. There was remarkable development in trade business. There was emergence of small scale and cottage industry, which gave rise to the workers like carpenters, blacksmith, potters, goldsmith, weavers, painters, etc. These craftsmen established their organizations, which were further known as class. The chief of the class was called as Shureshti, a leader. The Aryans started their business in country and abroad. They formed their traders' union. There was enormous progress in trade during Mahajan Pad period. Jainism The word Jain has its origin in the word Jinna. Jinna means conqueror. Conqueror of all senses. There were 24 Tirthankars according to the Jain literature. Rushabdeo was the first and Parshvanatha was the 23rd Tirthankar. Mahavir Vardaman was the 24th Tirthankar. Parshvanath Jain prophet Parshvanath was a son of King Asvesana of Banaras. After a deep penance, he acquired the spiritual knowledge. He emphasized the principles of Satya, that is, truth, Ahimsa, non-violence, Astheya, non-grabbing, and Aparigraha, non-possession. The threefold path, Triratnas. Option, Triratnas. The essence of the preaching in Jain religion is Triratnas. Option, The essence of the preaching in Jain religion is Triratnas. First, Samyak Darshan, right belief. To have faith in Jain philosophy. Second, Samyak Dhyan. Right knowledge. One must have proper knowledge about the actual nature of the world and about self. Samyak Charitra. Option. Samyak Charitra. Right conduct. One must observe the five rules of Jainism. Great significance is given to one's conduct in the observance of this threefold path. Failure in the observance of these rules creates destruction in the social health and human grief. So the Jain people are very strict about their ethics. Mahavira had laid down the four rules for a Shravaka, that is, householder. They are Ahimsa, non-violence, Satya, 
truth, asteya, non-grabbing, and aparigraha, non-possession. Besides this, shramana, that is, Jain monk, have to follow the principle of brahmacharya, celibacy in Jainism. Five great doctrines. First, satya, truth, not to speak lie. Second, ahimsa, non-violence, not to kill any living thing. Third, asteya, non-grabbing, refrain from violence and stealing. Fourth, aparigraha, non-possession, not to collect property. Fifth, brahmacharya, celibacy, to remain away from lust. Jainism is divided into two sects. Shvetambara, option Svetambara and Digambara. Jainism had acquired a great significance in Indian culture. Do you know this? There were 24 Tirthakars in Jain religion. They are as follows. First, Rishabdev. Second, Ajit. Third, Sambhav. Fourth, Abhinandan. Fifth, Sumati. Teaching of Jain Religion In addition to the principles of Parshvanath, Mahavir Vadaman gave organized form to Jain religion. Mahavir advocated the pure and virtuous life. He insisted for charity, service for sorry, repeat. He insisted for charity, service of sages and elders, patience, truth and forgiveness. Mahavir always criticized caste system and opposed the authority of Vedas. He protested against the ritual and privileges of Brahmins in the society. He was in favor of man-women equality. Mahavir says, soul is self-existence and eternal. It should get salvation. Physical and psychological violence is unfair. He preached that the man can get victory over his evil inclination through self-restraint and self-agony, that is, sufferings. The principle of non-violence was the essence of Mahavir's philosophy. Ahimsa paramo dharm is the watchword of Jain religion. The philosophy of Jainism was presented in Ardhamagadi by Mahavir in order to propagate it on a larger scale among common people. Mahavir Vardhaman and the Jain Religion Mahavir Vardhaman was born at Kundagram near Vaishali in 599 BC in Kshatriya family. He was the son of Siddharth and Trishalar Devi. At the age of 30, Vardhaman gave up the attachment of the worldly life. He conquered all his senses after the dire penance of 12 years. Therefore, he was called as Jinnah, the conqueror. He devoted his entire life for the propagation of Jainism. Mahavir Vardhaman passed away at the age of 72 at Pava in 527 BC. Buddhism Gautam Buddha and Buddhism Gautam Buddha was the founder of Buddhism. His real name was Siddharth. He was the son of King Shubhodana of Shakya Kingdom. Siddharth was born at Lumbini in 563 BC. After the mother's death, Prince Siddharth was brought up by his aunt Gautami. Therefore, he was known as Prince Gautam. The prince was provided necessary education. He got married to an accomplished princess, Yashodhara. But Prince Gautam never took interest and delight in sensuous pleasures and earthly life.
महाभिनिष्क्रमण प्रिंस गौतम वॉज ऑलवेज थॉटफुल अबाउट सोरोज ऑफ ह्यूमन लाइफ वन डे वाई वॉकिंग ऑन द रोड इन ए स्टेट द प्रिंस सो एन ओल्ड मैन अ फ्यूनरल एंड अ मॉन्ग वेन द प्रिंस अंडरस्टूड द रियल ट्रूथ ऑफ इन एविटेबल ओल्ड एज इलनेस डेथ एंड सोरो He felt the need to find out the origin of all sufferings. Gautam renounced the family life for that. This is called as Mahabhinishkraman. Principles of Buddhism. Buddha preached the principle of Buddhism and ways of conduct in Pali language in very simple and easy way. This information is given in the Tripitak, Vinay Pitak, Sutta Pitak, Adi Dhamma Pitak. Lord Buddha told four noble truths: Arya Satya, Eight Fold Path, and Panchashil. They are as follows. Four Arya Satyas. Lord Buddha says, human life is full of sorrows and sufferings. Therefore, he emphasized the need of controlling the lust or desire, which is the main cause of all sorrows. First, sorrows, dukh. Human life suffers from illness, old age, repentance, and death, resulting into deep sorrow. Second, lust, trishna. Lust or desire is the main cause of all sorrows. Third, refutation of sorrow. one can put an end to these sufferings that is dukh nirodh fourth pratipad the way to achieve salvation is a good conduct the eight fold path lord buddha gave a great importance to ethics and virtuousness while explaining the dhamma chakra pravartan at sarna Lord Buddha told the eightfold path for achievement of salvation. First, samya drishti, right view. The man should interpret the world with rotational view. Second, samyak vichar, right thinking. The man should refrain himself from the vices like power, property, anger, desire, etc. Third, samyak bhashan, right speech. our speech should be proper we should not slander fourth samya kriti right conduct a behavior must be right without thinking about its effects fifth samya upajivika right living the property should be collected for the sake of livelihood by proper means without causing injury or injustice to others sixth samya vayam right efforts if bad thoughts come in our mind we should suppress them by the way of exercise seventh samyak smriti right recollection we should recollect good memories by controlling our senses and with self restriction eighth samyak samadhi right concentration we can attain salvation through meditation and contemplation to eliminate the tendency of mind towards bad deeds gautam buddha's eight fold path highlights the principles of shil character pragna wisdom and samadhi meditation these principles are the essence of buddha's preaching shil character conveys the aloofness from sin samadhi meditation is the concentration of mind for virtuous things and pragna wisdom is the last phase on the way of emancipation to observe the eight fold path lord buddha has proclaimed the five rules panchashil first ahimsa not to kill any living thing second satya always speak the truth third asteya not to steal fourth indriya samyam not to be unchaste fifth not to consume intoxicants
Attainment of Spiritual Knowledge Prince Gautam deeply contemplated and sat for penance to get enlightenment. He obtained spiritual knowledge under the Bodhi, people tree at Gaya near the river Niranjana. It was a full moon day in the month of Vaishak. Prince Gautam was called as Buddha, a man who has real knowledge since that day. Buddha's Dhamma Chakra Pravartan that is promulgation. The enlightened Buddha gave his first sermon at Sarnath. He was joined by many disciples and followers who propagated Buddhism. Lord Buddha became the divine sage to lead the world towards salvation. He showed the way of emancipation from sorrow. Lord Buddha breathed his last at the age of 80 while preaching in 483 BC in Kushinagar.